everybody, it's Gillian. And Piper. And Piper. And we're here for That's Incredible Thursday. So we've brought an activity from the Children's Museum of St. Tammany to our house. And basically anyone can do this activity. If you have chalk that you're still using outside, or if you have painter's tape, if it's a rainy day, you could use it on your floor. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you an activity where you can um, compare your jump to other animals' jumps. And so we have, we actually have 16 feet laid out on our uh, road in front of our house and we're gonna practice jumping. Now we've put it outside um, with the chalk. It'll probably wash away in the rain this week, but uh, we put it outside so that our neighbors who come out for their evening walks or their morning walks, um, that they can participate in it as well. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so here is our How Far Can You Jump from the Children's Museum of St. Tammany. So you have your starting line, and what I've done is I have um, marked out each foot up to 16 feet. So if you look here at eight inches, you have the cat flea. At 10 inches, you have the grasshopper. At three feet, a chipmunk. Four feet, a coyote. These are all animals and how far they can jump and just a leap. Rabbit can leap nine feet. And then the kangaroo, the red kangaroo, actually starts at 16 feet, but can, has been known to jump up to 40 feet in one single leap. So that is our um, markers we have out. I'm gonna walk back down this way so you can see it. We made it pretty colorful. Hopefully our neighbors will walk on it or jump on it when they they come for a walk. All right, Piper, are you ready? Yep. Okay, Piper's gonna step up to the starting line. And she's practiced a few times. She's got some technique down. But we're gonna see how far she can jump. All right, Piper, three, two, one. Whoa, how far was it? Five feet. Five feet. So if Piper got a running start, let's see how far she could go. So she got five feet from just standing still. Oh boy, she's way back there. Don't fall. Three, two, one. Oh, it looks like you got about five feet again where your first foot touched down right there. So another fun thing that you can do is to leave your chalk out or painter's tape and you can mark um, where you jumped and your neighbors can use it to mark where they jump. And if it's a rainy day, just use painter's tape inside. All you have to do is just get a measuring tape and then you mark off each foot on that measuring tape. You can do some research for some different animals or you can use the animals that we use today. So we hope you have fun using this how far can you jump activity at home. We'll see you later. Happy That's Incredible Thursday. Bye. Bye.